So the poor man's leg curl, the different movement cues that we can use is first we want to make sure that we're getting hip extension. So lay down on your back, we want to put the arch of the foot onto the edge of the bench. So we want this part of my foot to be right on the edge of your bench or couch or whatever that you're using. And then the other leg is even going to be lifted. If you need some more help, you can put just the heel on top of the bench. This is going to give you a little bit of support, but it's still going to focus some movement on this leg. So this is still my working leg. I'm going to exhale to push my hips up. And so I want that full hip extension, particularly in the leg that's, that's my work leg. And then inhale to come back down. Exhale, push the hips up. Inhale, come back down. This should be a little bit more intensive in the hamstring glute area. If you want it to be even more hamstring intensive, you can come up onto the heel to push up. And then inhale, come down. Exhale, push up. Inhale, come down. So this is going to make it even more hamstring intensive. Other things that we can use to help have more stability in this movement or kind of change the stimulus and dynamics is one, you can put a ball between the thighs. So this is going to turn my adductors on a little bit more. Exhale, push up, inhale, come back down. The other thing that I could use is I could put like a mini band around my thighs um, as I do this. So just have a little bit extra of a stimulus on my leg as well. So with the mini band, I'm going to try to pull this leg away. Inhale, come down. Exhale, drive the top leg up. Inhale, come down. So those are the points performance for the poor man's leg curl.